All right, so what I have here is a Unity scene that I'm going to use to demonstrate a couple of things. The first thing we're going to talk about is the difference between global space and local space. So as you can see, I have this green plane that's been rotated at 30 degrees and I currently have local selected up here. That means that when I select this item, I'm going to be able to move it according to its local space. So in this case, its local space is rotated 30 degrees around this x-axis. So if I grab this um, control, I can move it and it will slide it up and down parallel or in the direction that of the rotation of the green plane. If I select global space, I'm just going to switch and now what I'm going to do is move it not with respect to the rotation of the object I have selected but the overall what's called global or world space of my scene. So we're going to have to work with both of those coordinate systems both global and local when um, working with our game and understanding the difference between those two and how to work with them is important. So. What I'm going to do is uh, go over a script that I've written that kind of demonstrates how to work with these two spaces in your um, Unity uh, script. So what we have here is a little demonstration script that I've written and I've exposed a couple of um, items here. One is my green plane that I've rotated 30 degrees around the x-axis and two cubes that I'm going to use in order to demonstrate the difference between global and local space. So in my start function what I've done is first of all I've turned my green plane semi-transparent and you can do that by getting its material and setting um, the color of the material to the same color that it was which is what this is doing, and this is what's called the alpha channel, which is the um, transparency portion of the material. You have to use um, the transparent material type in order for this to actually work. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to instantiate two cubes. One cube I'm going to put at location 055. Now my green plane is at position 5 uh, in the Y coordinate system and I'm going to go 5 units in the Z direction. And this is going to be in global space or world space. Then I'm going to do is I'm going to place another cube 5 uh, units in the Z direction. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quaternion function transform Point in order to transform this point, which is in global space, into local space. Local to the green plane's local coordinate system. So, if we go back to our Unity project and we run this, we can see the results. So we see that my plane turned semi-transparent. and I did this so we can see through it to the cubes that I'm going to be placing on the screen so you can kind of see the difference between this yellow cube got placed in the local coordinate system so it's on the plane. So you have to be able to think of this when your object is rotated and you're moving on the ro um, object's plane. This cube is put in global space and if we kind of rotate this around in our scene we can kind of see that this got positioned five units just flat, which is parallel to our um, global or world space. So now what I'm going to do is a little trickier is what I want to do is I want to rotate a point around the center point in both local and global space. So I want to take this cube and I want to rotate it around the center point of my green plane. And I want to rotate it all the way around in parallel to this green plane. 
I'm also going to rotate this purple cube in the world plane so you can kind of see the difference between uh, those two different options. So what I have is I have two functions here, one that rotates uh, around the pivot point in global space, the other rotates around the pivot point in local space. And it's going to take three different parameters, one the point to rotate, to the pivot point or the center point that I want to rotate around and third the actual angle that I want to um, rotate that point around and my uh, rotate point around pivot local is going to take those same same three parameters but it's also going to have take a local transform this is going to be the transform of the plane that I want to use as my local space plane all right, so I have this process keys function, and what I'm going to do is every time I hit the space bar, I am going to do a couple things. I am going to uh, take this radius, that's the distance or the radius of the circle that I want to use for my rotation. I am going to my pivot point, I'm going to use the center point of my green plane. And I am going to create this variable current angle and I'm going to create a vector three angle and I want to rotate around the Y axis. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this function rotate around pivot point using my point, my pivot and my angle. And I'm going to um, create a cube one, which is the purple cube. Then I'm going to call my rotate around pivot local and I'm going to pass the green planes transform. So this will rotate it around um, on the green plane and I am going to use the vector I'm going to use has zero meaning it's on the green plane in the y direction on the green plane in the x direction and moving down in the z direction by my radius and I'm going to create a yellow cube. So let's see that in action. So let's run, oops, we had run this. Let's run this, go to our game, and I'll hit the space bar. And what you see is it is creating a cube and I'm moving 10 degrees down each time. And I can see my purple cubes are flat on my um, world plane and my yellow cubes are staying on my green plane surface, which is exactly what I want. We can go to our scene, see it at a little different angle. So we can see all the yellow cubes are exactly the middle point of the cube is right on my green plane. All right. So let's look at those functions a little bit closer to see what they're doing. And I wish I had come up with these, but I actually found this one and I modified it to localize the point. But really what it's doing is it's using um, the fact that in my quaternion, it if you multiply a quaternion by an angle, it is going to add those two angles together. And essentially, that's what this function is doing. It's adding the angle that we passed in, the global angles, it's creating a quaternion out of it by setting its Euler angles to the angles passed in, and it's multiplying it by the difference between the pivot point and the point, which gives us a direction, that's why it's DIR. So if you subtract two points, it's really a vector pointing in the direction from the pivot point to the point. And then it's rotating that around, um, multiplying the quaternion by that direction. And then it is adding that to the pivot point and then returning it. Now the rotation point around pivot is going to do those same things. That's this code is exactly what we saw up above. But what it's gonna do is it's going to localize that rotation first. And so what it's going to do is it is going to create a, another quaternion, a rotation quaternion. 
it is going to set its Euler angles to the angle I passed in. And then what it's doing here is it's going to convert that into world coordinates. So rotations are always happening in world coordinates. But what we have to do is say, what is the world coordinate rotation of my local rotation? It's kind of backward if you kind of think about it. But what it's doing is saying, if I want to stay on the plane, I have to convert that point on the plane into world coordinate before I actually do the rotation. And then what it's going to do is it's going to add that local rotation to my world rotation. And this quaternion, if you multiply by the inverse quaternion, you're essentially subtracting those two angles. So um, we want to rotate it by the difference between those two angles. Again, I don't and I can't explain and go through the, all the details of this math. But once you have these functions and understand what they do, it's less important to understand what all the math is behind this, which takes quite a bit of investigation and understanding. And just know that I have two functions, and you can look at these functions, stop it, write them down, of how to rotate a point around um, a pivot in local and around a point um, in global space. So two very useful functions. Um, if you want to um, take an object and move it through space and, and have it rotate around another object, say like the moon rotating around a planet, this would be the exact um, functionality you'd have to do. All right. So that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And I have other rotation uh, videos that I've done on my channel. So look, uh, look up my Mitmac Games channel and subscribe and check out my other videos.